Hi, I'm John, and I'm going to demo a couple DIY compressors. Both of these are from circuitsalad.com and were designed by Ray Ring. He's got a lot of neat designs up on his website, like a delay, a fat distortion, a radio, a Geiger counter, all the stuff that people normally DIY. This is his MOSFET compressor. It uses a MOSFET for the variable resistance element, which is something I hadn't really seen before. This one is his FET compressor, and um, it was inspired, or at least voiced similarly to an orange squeezer. And this one uses an optocoupler chip, H11F1, for the variable resistance element. They've got a couple of parts in common. Um, they use a very similar rectifier circuit between them. Um, and a, the same chip in that section, but the actual sound, char sound and behavior characteristics are pretty different between them. So I'm going to start with the bypass. My amps on pretty much two on every setting, and here we go. <laughs> Here's the moss press. Um, I'm starting with the compression knobs at noon on both of these. Here's the fat compressor. So some really basic differences. This one has a much brighter sound than this one, although this one's not actually cutting any highs. There's no, there's no filtering inside. It's just that it's squishing the signal so that the bass, mid-range, and, and treble are a lot closer. This one um, has a different decay. It does a little bit of the duck and swell type thing that an orange squeezer does. Um, kind of similar decay characteristics there. This one's got a shorter decay, but um, and the attack is very slightly sluggish, but it also it also compresses very naturally to me, even um, as you'll see on the highest ratio settings. So I'm turning up the compression knobs all the way, and we'll compensate for some of the volume drop by bumping up the volume. There's the moss press on that compression. And I'll do some bass notes and chords because I think this one would sound really good on bass. So yeah, I mean, really, really hard compression, but the attack, the attack is still there. It's got, it's got a very slightly sluggish attack, and the decay is is actually quite short. Um, there's no point at which there's no point at which you're you're playing a note, and then if you stop playing that note and you start playing another note, that the second note is compressed in it, below unity volume where it would have been if you'd just played the note by itself. And also it adds a little bit of a um, kind of a cue sound to single notes. Um, I really like how it makes harmonics and stuff jump out. And I feel like that makes it a very 
expressive um, sounding compressor, even at max compression. So I, I really like the sound characteristics of this one um, at, at max compression. Um, I'm going to turn on the FET compressor here at max compression and. <coughs> So I've done a couple different things there. Um, this one does have, I'm, it does have this point where you'll play a note and then it'll clamp down and then um, pretty much everything for m maybe a second afterward. I mean, it's an extremely long decay at the maximum compression settings. So everything after the first, maybe a little bit of a note um, in a run will be very similarly compressed. <laughs> The way the compression knob works, it, really the compression knob works similarly in both of them. It, it controls the decay, I mean the uh, threshold, but in this one it also seems to have some effect on the decay. So as you turn the compression knob up, not only do you get a lower threshold, but you get a longer decay. So there's a little bit more fiddling with this one to find a good setting for any particular guitar. But once you're there, I think it sounds very natural, so I like having it um, somewhere around noon with my guitars. But I do think I do think it still sounds pretty natural. Um, I, I like the bright boost it gives and that reminds me of Arm Squeezers. And speaking of those, I brought along a couple surprise guests. This is an orange squeezer to compare with the um, Feta Squeeze to. I've put the bias knob at noon um, level at unity volume. And we'll just play a couple licks here to see how they compare. <laughs> So yeah, I had the I had the volume up a little bit far on this one, but um, but yeah, very similar characteristics at similar compression settings. Um, the decay in this one can get longer, but it doesn't have to be in an orange squeezer. Um, a lot of the same tonal characteristics as far as brightness and such. Um, I I really like I really like this design. I I thought it was I thought it was pretty good um, overall. Um, I was trying to think of what to compare the Moss Press to, and um, I don't really have a lot of things around the house that have that super squished sound. Um, the actual tonal characteristics would have been, a uh, Dynacomp would have been a good thing to compare it to, but the Dynacomp's um, behavior is very different. So I brought along an orange, and I mean an engineer's thumb. I've turned off the treble bypass to try and get a rounder sound. And I don't know. Let's. I mean, this isn't a perfect match, but you know, just to compare 
something that's sustainer craziness with um, with the decay characteristics of this one. <laughs> Of the moss of the moss press, and I I do recommend building both of these. I've got a layout on perf board for the fat compressor that kind of simplifies this design a little further than I mean it wasn't a complicated design to begin with, but I simplified it a little bit more and gave a little bit more of a volume boost. And also, um, oh I did want to I did want to mention one thing in the in the first iteration of this design. Stand up. Um, the compression knob, when it's at zero, does actually distort a little bit. That's not going to stand up. But as soon as it's above zero, it stops distorting. Um, there is a fix for that, and I've noted it on the layout. But uh, it, the fix kind of drops the volume a little bit, so I, I decided not to include it in the end because, frankly, I'm not going to use a compressor with no compression at all. Um, and also, I want to note before I conclude that both of these do have a pretty mighty volume boost. I didn't, I didn't really show that because, I mean, I just don't want to... I don't know if my neighbors are home or anything, <laughs> and I say that a lot in my 